Hey, what's going on, guys? So, did you all like that little introduction where I pretended to like sit down? Anyways, so in this video right here, we're gonna be talking about Adobe Photoshop Betas Generative Fill. Now, I've been using Photoshop for a very long time, and one of my favorite Photoshop tool is the Fill Node, but today, Adobe Photoshop added a generative fill, which is similar to fill, but this time around, it uses artificial intelligence. So to get started, go ahead and go to your Creative Cloud desktop and go to beta apps. You're going to download Photoshop beta right here. It's up to date and we're going to open that up. All right. So now that we have Photoshop open, what we're going to do is make sure that we have this taskbar right here or this toolbar. If you don't see this, go to window and go to contextual taskbar. My gosh, I can't say that word. And the next we'll go to our lasso tool right here on the top left. And I'm just going to go ahead and roughly mask an area like so. And I'm going to click Generative Fill. And I'll just say a very attractive woman. And then click on Generate. Just like that, I created an imaginary girlfriend. Now all I'm gonna do next is save this picture and then send it to my wife and you will probably never ever see me again. So like always, AI is a little bit funky. This is pretty jacked up, but you can already see the potential of this. And to kind of hide some things, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change it a little bit. A very attractive woman wearing sunglasses and gloves. And we're going to now regenerate this. There you go. That looks much better. You really can't tell, even though she kind of looks like Michael Jackson a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.